reception. They're about to walk in the door. OK, thanks, bye. <laughs> Okie cokey, Mr Fielding. You've been with us before, haven't you? Yes, indeed, yeah, twice. You've lost about seven kilos since you were last with us. Have I really? Yeah. Well, I didn't know that. Well, that's good news. I hope to lose seven more whilst I'm here. Uh, any religion, Andrew? Hindu Buddhist these days, I suppose. Hindu yeah. Buddhist. I'll post my keys to my mum, I think. Yeah. And then she can go and feed my snake, you know. <laughs> <sighs> The Tiny Isle of Man. Best known for fast motorbikes, generous tax breaks, and the birthplace of the Bee Gees. This self governing island in the middle of the Irish Sea has a population of just 85,000 and protects its privileged status with some of the harshest sentences in the British Isles. Got Nick for uh, robbing four pork pies and two Rice crispy bars there. And is home to one of the world's most unusual prisons. <laughs> oh, yeah! This place is a mental institution slash youth club. It holds up to 150 prisoners and has some of the lowest reoffending rates in Europe. With one officer to every inmate, in this small island jail, everybody knows your name. There's like two degrees, three degrees of separation here. Smart not young man. You are me. Generations of the same family are banged up together. Yeah, I feel like I've aged about 40 years since you've been in here. With male wings and a female wing under the same roof. She is the love of my life. That's the nickname Bonnie and Clyde. Doing time here is unlike doing time anywhere else in Britain. <laughs> Andrew Fielding is on his fourth visit to Jerby Prison. Like all new arrivals, he will spend up to three days on the induction wing to acclimatise. Just a minute, it's just, uh... Yes, it's a much better match of certain places. It's the only one you'll be getting. You won't get another one. <laughs> yeah, I'll sleep walking on that. Could be worse, I suppose. Better than being stuck in a cave in Bangkok, isn't it? He has been accused of hitting his elderly mother over the head with a rolled-up Hello magazine. So, yeah, the Isle of Man is generally harder on all crime. But inmates don't always think their sentences are justified. People are sent to prison for trivial things here. I've got some belting charges on me, failing to display my tax disc. Somebody attacked this eagle and they got what, so many days for that. I've seen someone come in because he was arguing with his wife and he'd thrown a glass of cold water in her face. They've sent me here for criminal damage on four cans of Carlin before. Crime of the century was shouting in the streets after two o'clock in the morning. Robbing someone's pram from outside the house. I've been in and out 28 times now, like, but uh, I'm just doing a life sentence in instalments, really, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> The island's laws may be punitive, but the regime inside the prison is progressive. Unlike most UK jails, all prisoners have single cells and are allowed out of them for up to seven hours a day. There are six wings, which include a women's wing, an education centre, sports hall, gardens and a gym. Me and the girls get about eight sessions a week, so that's quite good, that. The world's gone soft, isn't it? It's all... Nicey nicey, and they come in here, bag of bones, and they'll go out fit as a fiddle, built back up. They've got no worries about bills, they don't have to worry about the kids, they haven't got to worry about the wife. They play pool, they play darts, they smoke, they buy loads of sweets. It's too easy, too easy. Unfortunately, we still have the Hangham and Flogham Brigade out there, but prisoners are sent to prison as punishment and not to be punished. <laughs> Everything we do is around that carrot and stick. The money they spend, the time out of cell, access to privileges, the gym, TV, visits, is dependent on their behaviour. Right now, inmates Natalie and Lorraine have earned gym privileges for good behaviour. Lorraine is serving three years for knife crime. Natalie, six years for drug charges. Come on, mate, chest out. <laughs> Like, I'm not a gym bunny, do you know what I mean? Whereas Lorraine is, like, completely obsessed with it. So, 
here and spend all day together, don't we, Bestie? Yeah. <laughs> Send me prison wife, isn't she? <laughs> yeah. You've got to have a good friend in jail, I reckon. I mean, your mate. Yeah. I think some people do do it on their own, but it must be a lonely existence. But Lorraine's not the only member of her family inside. My brother's also in here as well. He's on B-Wing. Oh, flipping heck, Lorraine, she's, she's mad. She's like, uh, you know, she goes like 0 to 60, 0 to 100 in like three seconds, you know? I've been out a few times with her and the amount of scraps I've been in with her is unbelievable. But Lorraine's family connections don't end with her brother. My partner's also in here on A-Wing. Um, yeah, we've been on and off for about three and a half years. Love you, babe. Love you. Who's <laughs> that? That's Lorraine. It's Marlon Lorraine's nickname, Bonnie and Clyde. She is the love of my life, yeah? Goldie and Lorraine are nothing like Bonnie and Clyde, OK? I can describe them as lots of things, but not Bonnie and Clyde. Mando, were you born there? Do you mean to me, please? Yep. It's interesting how their relationship has to develop within the prison. There's loads of drama, but we've got to deal with it all. It's like a bloody soap opera, for want of better words. And, and I hate soap operas, but I happen to have found myself living in one. Lorraine's boyfriend, Ian Goldsmith, nicknamed Goldie, also tries to stay in shape. It's a release mechanism, so they come down here and the hour off the wing, it's just, it's like you're not in jail. Get all the tension, all the stress out of you. And you stop thinking about your problems. Repeat offender Goldie has a long rap sheet. This time, he's on remand facing trial for actual bodily harm, known as ABH. Hey, hey, Jonesy, these windows are going all right, you know. Do the longer pole. <laughs> Good behaviour on the wing has earned him a sought-after job in the sunshine. While you're in here, you might as well get little perks and jobs like this to come out and do it, mightn't you? What's your trade? I'm a ground worker, me. I'm putting all the concrete in for the fencing, but I'm not allowed to work on prison fences in case I put a weak spot in there. Goldie's first trial collapsed after he took matters into his own hands. I'll be representing myself. I've got a very good possibility of getting uh, not guilty. Justice will prevail, Jonesy. You do get some surprises, yeah. If you move further back and extend the pole, you get more pressure. I'll tell you what, I won't get a windows cleaning job when I get out, especially with this. Well, I wouldn't pay you. That stuff you wanted, by the way, it came in, the moisturising stuff. All right, yeah, it's that's coming on, has it? Yeah, I'll sort that. Yeah, Sam, that's right. Nice. All right, wow. cheers, Ben. The wages Goldie and other inmates earn from prison jobs can be spent in its very own shop. Right, one apple and black. Run for the last 20 years by its shopkeeper... And two sports mixtures. ...affectionately known as George Stores. So it's all about trends and been on the ball. You do get weeks where they do go berserk on Mars bars, and the next week it's all Harry Bolt sound fastic, and then no Mars bars. You've got to be one step ahead all the time in terms of stock. Inmates start out on basic, which means they can spend up to five pounds a week, going up to 36 pounds for the best behaved, enhanced. You've got all your chocolates, mints, crisps, biscuits, cakes, cereals. It's just pretty much like everything you can get at a shop. To Ribena. I do like the uh, special K with cranberries in it. I'd maybe get a curry and a Bombay pot noodle. Two iron blues, whispers, double deckers, 50 super noodles. Christmas comes early type thing every week. <laughs> Something that's said in here, I think, is that, you know, the man has got everything. You know, if you want something, go and see George, he'll sort it. That's so good. I'm reading books. What are you reading? That's Forensic for Dummies. Manx Criminal Law and Procedure by David Doyle. <laughs> <laughs> it's just giving you ways of cross-examining people. 
Having dropped his lawyer, Goldie's going to represent himself in court. My opening speech. Members of the jury, I witnessed an assault and tried to intervene, but with no prevail. At no point did I assault or harm the, the, the aggrieved. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I have upper confidence in your partial dis impartial decision at this trial. Open speaking is not my forte, if you know what I mean. I'm not really good at... I'm going to I'm gonna have to get good at it, aren't I, really? Awful lot to do. But hopefully I'll win her. Are you nervous about this? Yeah, of course I'm nervous. It's my life, isn't it? If Goldie wins, he walks free. If not, he'll be facing a five-year conviction for ABH. Good afternoon, sir. Today is visiting day. Everybody, yeah? Thank you very much, sir. Cheers. Thank you. Twice a week, well-behaved prisoners are allowed visitors. That's twice as often as most UK jails, which means double the trouble for eagle-eyed head of security, Margot. I'm suspicious of them all. These cameras are very good. They go right close up so you can read what's written on a piece of paper. We're looking for mobile phones and drugs. The mobile phones now are very, very small. So uh, it's, they're quite easily smuggled in. You know, we've had people come to jail because we've caught them on a visit. We are more on top of intelligence here than any place I've ever been before. And I know it's probably wrong, but going by the way people dress, you look at them. Well, it just looks a bit shady to me. Just uh, intuition. She's the old seeing all knowing. Sometimes I wonder myself where she gets her information from. She knows pretty much everything about everything. Um, she probably knows what kind of underwear I've got on right now. On D-Wing, Lorraine's getting ready for her regular visit with boyfriend Goldie. I do my makeup on that every day, but I just do it more carefully and I spend more time on it when I'm seeing Ian. <laughs> Twice a week I see Lorraine. Well, that's not good enough, really, is it? You want to have some alone time, if you know what I mean. and embrace when they first walk in. They're allowed to hold hands across the table, but there's no excessive physical contact allowed. But obviously, they're both in prison, and they don't get much physical contact with each other, so I think when the opportunity's there, they'll try and get away with it. They've got quite a volatile relationship. It's quite a few times where they've had a little a lover's tiff on a visit and one of them has storm out. I mean, it's obviously tough trying to maintain a relationship while you're in prison. Any issues that crop up, it's probably more intense than a normal relationship. Sure enough, officers have to break it up before visiting time is over. I think Goldie and Lorraine have had words and they've decided to end their visit about 15 minutes early. I think they've had an argument. She just said that uh, he's uh, said some inappropriate things to her that she didn't quite agree with. They've had arguments before. They make up very quickly. Who doesn't argue? Yeah, of course you do. It's like a love-hate relationship. In one sentence, he's a d and then she's like, but I do love him. I do love him. Yeah, it's a bit of both. One of them things, isn't it? You get over it, don't you? Get over it. Mike. They're waiting for you, mate. They're waiting to take you down. Today, Goldie is finally getting his day in court. I've been in here for 18 months, fighting my court case. At the start of it, the prosecutor turned round and said he wanted this sorted exponentially. So I looked it up in the dictionary. That means fast and efficient. It's not really fast and efficient, this, is it? You've got to be confident if you've got your stuff down already. You're always confident, mate. <laughs> Hope I don't see you ever again. Goldie could be facing a five-year sentence for ABH, but despite having no legal training, he's decided to represent himself. It's a brave, brave choice of him to do it. 
Crazy, but but brave. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. I've got a bag there, right? Like, that's got a jumper in. I want to wear my lucky jumper. Why are you just smirking while you're in the seat? Need more than a jumper. You know what I mean? <laughs> get in well, just get in there. Goldie's trial is at Douglas Crown Court on the other side of the island. I think he's a bit stressed out. I don't know how long he's looking at. I don't know if he's going to get out. I don't want him in here. It's not a nice place to be. Morning. Morning, yeah. Yeah, I prefer if he's outside. A little bit. <laughs> I am apprehensive about going into a court, cross-examining a witness, which I've never done before. I want to get there before I forget something. Before everything that I've got in my mind now just goes poof. So I want to get jiggy with it. And I've got pens. <laughs> I'm not going to run out of pens. Armed with nothing but his pens, Goldie needs to convince a jury that he was just trying to stop a drunken brawl. But court official Richard has seen it all before. He's up against one of the best prosecutors on the island. And he's got his work cut out because his terminology isn't quite correct in most things. And if he doesn't get his own way, he will stand and argue with the judge, which isn't ideal. Guys, one at a time, leave a nice big gap, please. Thank you. Cheers. Visiting times run for one hour, five days a week. That's lovely. Thank you very much, sir. Cheers. I'm uh, just getting ready to go see my nan, cos obviously uh, it was her birthday the other day. This is Ben's second time behind bars for drug offences. Growing up, like, me and my nan, we're well close. She's always, always been good to me. She's always helped me. She's always been there for me. I think she always knew what I was doing, selling drugs and that. She always told me that she wasn't happy with the choices that I've made, but she just accepted me for me. But this is no ordinary visit. There we go. Get on, Tasha. While in jail, Ben missed her funeral. That's, that's the day she yeah. died. Yeah, the 6th of March this year. Through everything, she never gave up on me, do you know what I mean? So yeah. I at least owe it to come down out of respect. How do you cope with the grief in here? So I celebrate the funny part, do you know what I mean? Try and concentrate on the on the yeah. fact that my nan was mad as a box of frogs. What I'll do, I'll pop these back in the office now. And then any time you want to come, yeah. Saturday morning, and I'm sure the other ministers Spot will on. not worry. Safe. Nice one, Father. Okay, nice okay. <laughs> I'm only here because of the choices that I made in life. I feel that when I start to get sad and think about it, my nan, knowing that she's up there looking down on me, it helps. I think you did extremely well. I honestly think you've done it, to be honest. I think you pulled it out of the bag there. Because you had them hanging on every word. Every word. You couldn't see him, I could see him. I stumbled one through a couple of Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You got your point across, you went nice and slow, precise. It was perfect. It was just horrible waiting, not knowing. If the jury finds Goldie not guilty, He'll walk out of court today a free man, leaving girlfriend Lorraine locked up for another four months. What I want to happen is me and Goldie have our own little house and just be happy and work and that and come home every night and go to the gym. I'm coming nearly 40. I think there's a time in your life you've got to say, that's enough, I'm sick of being in jail. No, go away. Can you just 
I've just got right listen, I've just got three and a half of an extended license of, of 18 months. Well I thought it went well in the case, but obviously the jury didn't think so. What did the judge say? It was just basically that he's um, he's a violent offender and he's he's giving him the maximum he can give him. I just found out that Goldie got a guilty in court. Goldie? Hold on. He'll probably be feeling a bit pissed off. I haven't influenced the jury good enough. It was a lot to remember in that courtroom. It was mentally tiring. You all pick yourself up, wipe yourself down, get on with it. I'm going to try and get an appeal in and put it in the, the capable hands of a, of a lawyer. On the upside, do you feel better when you're in together? You do feel a lot better. You seem to be able to sleep easier at night. Next time, Jervis got talent. And the a dirty protest. At least I've got something to read while I'm cleaning up. <laughs> Bullies can't stand them. And Margot takes no prisoners. You have to go. There are plenty of young carers in Britain under the age of 18 caring for siblings or parents. Brand new Ross Kemp Living With Carers explores tomorrow here at 7.30. Pete and Sean unblock one of the dirtiest and deepest pumping stations in Staffordshire. Sewer Men concludes tomorrow at 9. Next year, Coronation Street.